Hi guys, welcome back to SHK Excel World. I am Salim Heather, and I am back with the second part of the video series on Dashboard Beyond Charts. So in today's video, we are going to create this central part of the dashboard, which is basically an analysis on the sales data to know our top five employees and their sales performance. So this will be created with the help of the dynamic capabilities of uh, Pivot Table and combining those with those of the spark lines. Let us see how this combination works and uh, how we can create this analysis. But before that, if you are new to SHK Excel World, do subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so that you get the latest update on the upcoming videos and you stay tuned to all of the videos in this series. So let us see how we can create this analysis. For this complete dashboard, we are going to use this single table, which is the sales table from the Northwind database. You can download this file from the link given below in the description and follow along. Since this is already in the form of Excel table, just click anywhere in this table, go to insert and click pivot table and press OK. For this particular analysis, which is basically to know the top five employees of the company, we need employee name in the rows area. And then obviously we have the net sales revenue. So the top five employees are based on the net sales revenue generated by each employee. And we also need months. We know that the auto date grouping feature activates whenever a date field is inserted into the column or the rows area. So we are going to drop it into the column area. We do not need the years which have been created automatically. And also we do not need the quarters. We only need the months and we can format the values. and reduce the size of the columns as well. Now click anywhere in your pivot table, go to design, which is pivot table design and remove grand totals for both rows and columns. So this is the table we want. Now we need to filter it to give us the top five employees based on the net sales revenue. So against the rows label, we have the drop down. Just click that one. And in the values filter, go to the last option, which is the top 10. Write top five because we need the top five items based on the net sales revenue and press OK. So in most of the circumstances, it will always give us five employees until unless in a specific filter context, for example, in a different location or in a year, there are less than five employees. So we assume that there will always be five employees in any of the filter category. Now we need to create a table which can be moved to the dashboard. For that, we need the name. We can just use the equal to reference and refer to the name and press enter and just copy it to the cells below. So we have our five top five employees and just increase the size of the column in this column, we are going to insert the spark lines. Just select the area in which we want to insert the spark line. So this will be sort of an array reference. Go to insert and in the insert ribbon, there is a group called spark lines and we have different spark lines like line, column, win loss. So we need the column one, press column. And for the data range, we are going to give the complete data range from January till December for all of the five employees and press OK. So as you know that I really like the black background. So our spark lines columns should have a light color. Once your spark lines are selected, you can see a new ribbon above, which is a spark line ribbon. And in that we can select, we can select any of the light column color. And once it is done, we need to highlight the highest and the lowest months for the viewer so that the viewer knows as to which months were best for which employee. So keep your spark lines area selected, go to the style group and in marker color for the high point, select a green shade and for the lowest point, select a red color. So in this way, the spark lines will tell you as to which months were best for which employee. Now the important part is that is our spark line dynamic and will it change 
with different filters being applied through slicers. So let us try one. Click anywhere in your pivot table. Go to analyze and insert a slicer. We are going to insert the category name and press OK. So we have the category names available with us. We can filter our pivot table by selecting any of the category. You can see that the top five employees are changing as soon as we are clicking the filters. So in this way, we have created a dynamic spark line, which is definitely not a chart. We can select this area, change the background to black, change the text color to white, and maybe bold it. So this also depends on uh, what sort of color combination you like for your dashboard. For this, I can write as top five employees. And for the spark lines, I can write as monthly sales revenue and increase this the size make the heading bold so in this way we have created the inner portion of the dashboard this can be cut and pasted into the area where we want to create the dashboard and this will still be dynamic we can select this one press ctrl x create a new sheet and and insert this we will have to do little modification so that it appears the way we want it to appear in our dashboard. We can copy the slicer from this sheet and assume that this is our dashboard, final dashboard in which we are producing the slicer. We can change the filters and our dashboard is changing along with it is also changing the name of the employees. So just for the last part of it, we can assume that so there might be a filter where the number of employees come to less than five for example let us assume that it's Ireland and maybe it's 2020 so in this case the number of employees has reduced to less than five so we will have to modify our reference so if we do not do our tweaking here let us insert the country slicer by going to our working area, selecting the pivot table, going to analyze, insert slicer and insert the customer country here and press OK. Copy this to our dashboard area and select Ireland and select 2020. So we will be getting zero, which is not what we want in our dashboard to appear. So we'll have to modify this one that if this is equal to nil then we should get a nil otherwise we should get the value which is appearing in that cell and copy this to the rest of the cells so now if there is no data we'll get a blank cell and we'll not get a zero so i hope you have liked this video do not forget to subscribe to shk excel world and do not forget to check in for the next video of the series in dashboard beyond charts.